Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to have some background music today. That's uh, my husband and his bandmates are in the garage practicing. So you'll hear some of that probably on this video, but it's fine. Um, so I just got out of the shower. I'm about to go hang out with my friend Salt. So I thought I would squeeze in an unboxing of the Witch's Moon for December. I'm sitting on my couch. <laughs> Cause I wanted to be comfy. All right, so let's just jump right in. Ooh. All right, so this is what you see when you first open it. Safe Alita. All right, ooh, Oracle card says, Eagle Mastery, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. That's pretty cool. In the back of it. Mm, I like that card. It's cute. Then we have a little sigil that says Guardians. Sigil artwork. Then we have one of their artworks for Tree Guardians. Ooh. I'm all about nature. Ooh, the paper is a very pretty cream color. Wormies. Let's just put that over there. Ooh, I think that's so good. All right, so let's do the herbs we got. Let's see. So we have Slippery Elm first. Then we have I want to say Betty, but that's not what that is. We'll find out. And then White Oak. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Then. Ooh. Whoa! This is a huge stone. This feels humongous. Whoa! I love the stones they put in here. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. Look at that stone. Look how, look how big that is. That's like as big as my palm. And it came in a pretty green bag. Love it. If you hear any scuffles, that's also my puppies are playing. Hey, don't knock into the table. They're crazy. <laughs> All right, let's do the Oreo, because I can't wait anymore. Ooh, look at that bottle. It's called Tree Guardian. It's in like a pretty blue bottle. I really like that. Ooh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Tree Guardian. Ooh. Ooh. Then we have a little bundle of, it looks like evergreen. That's what I was smelling, the outside of the box. Mmm, it smells really good. Bath salt! Odie, come here, baby. <laughs> calm down, calm down. I know, I know. No, I know. <laughs> These smell, smell very woodsy and ooh, very outdoorsy. I like this, which <laughs> the picture is like wood. So, 
stands to reason. <laughs> Puppers, what are you doing? Hey, quit it. We're chasing my cat now. Y'all are just getting an uninterrupted or a interrupted show today. Hey, y'all quit it. Ooh, so we got, got a brown candle and Santa Tatum Spiritus. Bell for ya. Huh, this is cool. Oh, I like that one. That one sounds cool. Alright, so then we have a big old boy. Yep. Look how pretty this is. Look at that. I love the way the Witch's Man packages everything. It is beautiful. And I'm going to keep this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm keep that. All right, but let's. I every month it feels like Christmas. I love opening the boxes. Ooh. Look at that. And look, it has a really pretty stone at the top of it. Look at that. It's like a tree spirit. I love this. I get really good mojo vibes from it. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love this. Hanging up in my room. Alright, so let's read. So, hand carve tree guardian with pua shell inlay. Ooh, it's a pua shell. These very natural tree guardians have been ethically sourced from over 500 different species of fallen trees and branches. Each tree guardian has been hand carved and stained with the utmost respect for the spirit and vibration within. Trees are the ancient companions and we seek to gain knowledge from, that we seek to gain knowledge from, standing tall and vibrant long before we could stand ourselves. Segment of a tree, even the smallest segment of a tree contains the energy of the whole tree. This specific tree guardian was crafted to provide you with a portal to its natural power and energy. As you sit with the spirit, work to create a relationship of respect and understanding. This technique is the same technique used to connect with any of your magical tools or altar item items. Ooh, I like this. I love that. Then cedar sage bundle. It says, the cedar tree has been revered as a sacred symbol for thousands of years and was thought to house gods, bearing the entrance to the highest of spiritual realms. The wood of the cedar tree was used to create the entrance doors of sacred temples. Cedar is burned in many cleansing ceremonies for purification and renewal. As you burn this beautifully rich, aromatic cedar, allow the smoke to bring forth good-intentioned spirits and guides. Spirit of the Trees Sigil, which was the one that says Guardians, which the thing up top looks like an acorn, I think. Then Tree Guardian, or no, uh, oh, the candle says that this candle is charged with the purpose of strengthening the bond between self and nature spirit. Well, it says it has been enchanted with cedar wood, juniper berry, and sandalwood oils. They've also included a special mixture of their earth magic oil. Ooh. And then they included the spell from their own things. Then 
Tree Guardian Magical Oil. Tree Guardians have been a symbol of protection and strength since before we started walking our individual paths. Silent and watching, the Tree Guardian stands as a vital component in our world. Only the beauty of these living beings are we able to live ourselves. We have created this very special magical oil with the intention of bringing you grounding and protective energy. We resonate deeply with the sacred vibrations of these tree guardians and have worked with this oil to bring about these energies. Yeah. I smell amazing. So, doo -doo -doo. we have enchanted the oil with sandalwood, cedarwood, pine, and juniper berry oils and have included white oak bark, birch bark, willow bark, and cedar inside of it. There's also a Lumerian quartz, said to personify oneness with your aura, and they have also included a little bit of their own spirit guide oil in there. Aww. Then there's the Yule sacred salt, ooh, Yule, which is a midwinter festival observed by historical Germanic peoples during the winter solstice. I love Yule. It's one of my favorite holidays. Yule, what's that one? Uh, rough Lapis Stone, which is this, this huge, look how blue that is. Look at that. It's amazing. Amazing. So we have handpicked the rough lapis stone that was placed inside of your box. Lapis has been a stone of royalty and spirituality dating back to ancient Egyptians, used to entomb and decorate the pharaohs. Lapis contains the power and vibrations to open the path of self-knowledge in order to uncover the, tru the truest truths. As you sit with this beautiful stone, allow its energy to activate the psychic centers of the third eye. Ooh. It's a harmonizing stone. Forest Mist Incense. Ooh, I like that name. Forest Mist. So this specific incense is welcome during this beautiful time of year as the notes of pine and cinnamon waft through your sacred space allow the energies on grounding and strength to reach the crevices of each corner. Used to enhance personal power and inflame passion, the forest mist incense is a great addition to your meditation, ritual, or sacred work. As you light this incense, in sense, a uh, cast a gesture of thankfulness and celebration. Ooh, beef herb. That's what that was. That's what this one was that I couldn't read. It is, um, yeah, beef or birch bark. Yeah, used for purification, inception, and fertility spells. It is tra traditionally used for the besom. Beltane fire and Yule log, bringing with it a very strong power and sacredness. Ooh. And then slippery elm bark. Commonly known for halting words spoken badly about others. It, when used in incense or magical powders, has the ability to allow us to be unseen and invisible to the prying eyes of predators. A common incantation associated with these spells with these goes as follows things unseen and things not seen let me walk here in between Ooh. then eh. white oak powerful protection agent white oak bark is a companion needed for grand endeavors removing negative energy and bringing the strength of willpower to any situation you may face said to teach tolerance and graciousness the white oak can be a wise mentor Place white oak bark in your protective satchel to bring you the extra strength you may need along your journey. Personalized oracle reading, which was my awesome eagle, which is from a Spirit of the Animals Oracle by Jody Bergsma. Sorry if I butchered that name. Then the parchment paper, of course, that they always include. And Tree Guardian book, art book. Nice. I loved it. Yay, I'm so excited. This was an awesome one. I love my little tree spirit protector guy. He's awesome. Can't wait to hang him in my room. I actually need to clean and cleanse my room and then so 
I, so I think he's going to be a part of that. Yeah, there you go. There was December's Witch's Moon box. Again, did not disappoint. I had no worries about that. They always exceed my expectations. Always. So once again, Witch's Moon, you put together a beautiful box. I really enjoy it. Um, also, congratulations on your newest subscription box that you have coming out um, January. I think orders open on that like January 1st. Um, and I, if I'm remembering correctly, if I'm not, I apologize. Um, I think it's called Witch's Roots. Um, but I am definitely contemplating ordering that box as well. Um, so if anyone is interested, you can go and look at that box. Um, like I said, I think orders will be to start available January 1st. Um, but yeah, great box. Loved it. Can't wait to see what... So, side note, my brain goes went boop. Um, this is... Um, I actually started getting the Witch's Moon box in January, so it has officially, it has been one whole year of me getting Witch's Moon boxes, and I love it. I don't see me stopping anytime soon, if ever. <laughs> so you all have a wonderful day, day, night. Thank you for stopping into my channel. Love you bunches, blessings and growth, and I will see you next time. Bye.